Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O, and I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish green is sometimes it turns purple hair. <coughs> Ow. Fluffy, I'm not feeling too good today. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm a little bit sick. Every time I breathe, it sounds like I got liquid or a whole bunch of nonsense in my lungs and it's very hard. So today the Fluffy Poodle and I are going to bring you guys along over to the doctor's office and hopefully get Daniel the Big O squared away because the Fluffy Poodle is really worried about me. I say you look good without no makeup, no lashes, even better when you wake up. We are here, we are here, we are here. And you guys are probably like, man, this guy is really in a good mood for being sick. And they are absolutely right, Fluffy, because there's no need to be in a bad mood just because you're sick and not feeling good. Put the leash over my neck. Tell him to, Fluffy, break. And he goes straight into that heel position, even with cars nearby and everything else. Let's head inside. Now, obviously, because of HIPAA and the safety and protection of all the people inside of here, we're not going to film everything. So we'll see you guys inside the office. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? You guys at Walmart one time. Oh, nice to meet you again. Yeah, I was just like a little kid. Moving my feet back and forth, wasn't that funny? Comment down below, comment down below. About it. Uh, they stuck a thing in my nose. Oh, it made my eyes water. Like, oh my gosh, but Fluffy, he's doing good down below. So I was just told that we have about 15 minutes to wait for this test to come back. And what else should we do? You know, I have a great idea on what we should do. We should just, uh... Learn about this. Signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. Puffy face, depression, corrosion and loss of hair, cold intolerance, reflex delay, constipation. Now that's some weird stuff. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, oh, is it this one? Is it gonna be like this one? Or is it... This big, huge one. Yep, yep, yep. I'm that guy who goes inside the doctor's office and has fun with everything that they have because I don't know how to keep my hands to myself. Oh. Fluffy's doing good down there and he's doing great. My breathing still sucks. <sighs> <coughs> Gotta shake it off like a salt shaker. Doctor knocked, so let's put this back on and talk to her. When the doctor walked in, we started going over my symptoms. Then my head started hurting and I started having a bunch of pressure in the forehead. We went over everything and she told me that I'm definitely going to need something that I'm not looking forward to. Well, I got some bad news. Hey dog, it's really bad news. These doctors want me to bend over this table, pull down my... And they're going to give me a shot. They're going to give me a shot right in my bodet. Like, ew, nasty. But on a for real note, I really need some antibiotics. So the doctor said that they're going to give me a shot in my bodet. You know, my badonk -a donk And then I have to go and get some more antibiotics at the pharmacy. But on a serious note, I want to say thank you to my doctors and nurses for always taking care of me and being there for me when I definitely need it. So thank you and thank you guys for doing what you're doing. Now let's get that shot. Thank you all, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Made it back to the vehicle, and I'll tell you what, that shot in the booty, they wouldn't let me film it, but uh, it wasn't actually that bad. But they said that we have to leave that building and go to the one that's um, over here, right behind it, and go get some chest x-rays because my lungs definitely don't sound too good. Fluffy, brake, tight squeeze, heel. Good boy. Come on.
Now again, out of respect to all of the patients, we can't film everything inside, so we'll film as much as we can. Want the under. We just got all checked in, got the wristband. Now we just wait to get that x-ray. Yo, that x-ray was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Load up. I say this in a lot of videos, don't close one door unless you have another one open. How's your service dog supposed to get you in a case of emergency? So now since we have that x-ray finished and we already went to the doctor and got that shot in my badonka donk now I think it's time we just head back home and do a little bit of relaxing because I really don't feel good and I definitely need to get my lungs healed up before a new trip coming up. So until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and this bluish green is sometimes it turns purple hair. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.